Sadaharu O, a name you might be familiar with if you are a passionate baseball fan in America, and one you are absolutely familiar with if you are from anywhere in Asia. He is one of the most treasured names in all of NPB history, and one of the most talented players to ever play the game. In a 21-year career with the Yamayuri Giants, O slashed 301 with 2,170 RBIs from the first base position. Most of them came by way of a world record 868 career home runs, which, if you're keeping track, is 106 more bombs than Barry Bonds was able to manage in his career, all without the aid of steroids. But O even beats the likes of Hank Aaron, the true home run king of MLB, who managed 755 in his storied career with the Atlanta Braves. So does this make O more powerful than Aaron, and therefore the true home run king when Major League Baseball is concerned? From a skill standpoint, not really. Aaron faced the best pitchers that the Major Leagues had to offer, especially in 1968, the famous year of the pitcher. He faced Denny McClain, Jim Palmer, Bob Gibson in particular. They were nasty. And these guys could throw pitches that Masaichi Kaneda could really only dream of. But does that negate O's achievements? Absolutely not. Kaneda and all of the other hurlers of the day had pitches that were unique to them, and O had to overcome them to hit his bombs. And sure, Karakowin Stadium, where the Giants played for many years, had foul line dimensions that only stretched 288 feet to the left and right foul poles. But even with a Yankee Stadium porch to work with at his home ballpark, you keep coming back to the number, don't you? 868, it's just so many. How did he do it? Well, today, we're going to answer just that on the inaugural episode of Global Baseball's Finest. When you look at O, he doesn't look too much like a power hitter. Obviously, he's plenty athletic looking, slender, fit, has, obviously has some decent amount of muscle, but you would never guess that he was a power hitter when you look at it. So that then would lead us to believe that the answer lies in his swing. He, like so many other hitters of the time, spent hours upon hours outside of batting practice honing his swing. He developed a number of innovative drills to grind and solidify his hips, his head, and his bat path, like this one where he's slicing a fruit with a sword. The results created a very unique kind of swing. His nickname was the Flamingo, so earned by way of his batting stance. And that right there is an image that has been etched on the minds of millions of Japanese baseball fans all around the world, young and old. And now, yours too. But let's see if we can't break down his swing and see what was so special about it, especially when it was deployed in game situations. And for that, let's go to the field. Hello, and welcome to the field. It is a hot summer day on the baseball diamond today, but it's a good day to break down some mechanics. The number one thing to remember with this swing is fluidity. So as we get set, got to make sure our hips are nice and loose. Hook up on the bat. And now here's where it gets fun. We start in the flamingo. Our foot hangs while we wait for the pitch to get close. Our shoulders come down and then come out. And this is what's so beautiful about this, is this little flamingo number allows him to load essentially his entire body. And so when he releases and sends his bat through the zone, it's just gonna sail. You can see the ball perfectly and place your hands exactly on the right spot of the ball to send it sailing. And that's the other reason why you see a lot of line drives from all, but not a lot of high arcing fly balls. Now then, let's see if we can't put it all together and make this baby fly. <laughs> Oh, yeah. O made himself great by showing the virtues of using the reflexes and precision of a contact hitter to become a true slugger. And with all this going for him, 868 bombs to right field at Karakowin Stadium, that alone is enough to make him 
our first addition to our list of global baseball's finest. It is an absolute scorcher out here, so I'm gonna kick it back to the studio and wrap things up. Really hope you enjoyed our inaugural episode of our brand new show, Global Baseball's Finest, here on the Global Baseball Network. Everything's gonna be relatively normal for the rest of the week. Stay tuned for more developments on the content front. We're gonna be revealing more about our all new plan for production throughout the rest of this season. But as for right now, we will see you on Wednesday for an all new best nine of the week. Please do like and share this video if you enjoyed it and you know somebody who would enjoy it right along with you. Subscribe to the Global Baseball Network for all the news, scores, and stats from baseball leagues around the world. And do be sure to hit that bell icon. It's right down there next to the subscribe button to be notified every single time we upload a new video. I've been Marshall Lamert. This has been Global Baseball's Finest, only on the Global Baseball Network. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. But for now, that's the game.